CERN update. CERN is designing the future circular collider and is at least 10 times bigger than what is in Geneva now. The circular collider. This is news January 15, 2019 from the press release of CERN. It's, uh, we have here the short film about the future circular collider, the study for the post-LHC large-scale research facility in particle physics, and the film highlights the importance of continuing exploring the fundamental question about the universe and shows the importance of collaboration to tackle the technological challenges of this project. The project is co-funded by, by EuroCircle, an EU Horizon 2020 program. A contributor co-producer is Caritos Panayotis CERN, long version of the video you can see there in this link below. I'll leave for you. At one point, we thought the world was flat. Until explorers pushed into the unknown. At one point in time, we thought the sun was around the earth. Until we look farther. Without exploratory science, we wouldn't know what we know today. But all of our modeling makes up only 5% of the known universe. To explore the big questions. To give us one theory that can explain what we see, we need to examine some of the smallest elements. So at the moment we have the uh, Large Hadron Collider, LHC. We achieved so very on the Higgs solar the future circular collider FCC will be the next instrument that we have to build if we want to continue to be in the path of discovery. A uh, plan for a post LHC era. The motivation for what we are doing is basically curiosity. There's no clear hint on where nature could hide its secrets. To explore more intense conditions. We need a bigger collider. Physically, it's a much longer tunnel. The future circular collider, we're looking at a tunnel 80 to 100 kilometers. Literally, what we can fit into the Geneva Basin. And this FCC, we can go much, much further. We will meet all the people of CERN, but all the people also worldwide. Science knows no borders. There is a lot more to learn. And we have to. If we stop exploring, then basically, we stop evolving. The discovery of the new person was a big deal. This is only the beginning of the story. We've scratched the surface, but we, we have clearly much more to, to discover. Particle accelerators are our only instrument to penetrate the heart of matter. They are machines that give energy to unimaginably small subatomic particles like electrons or protons. Accelerators use electric fields to give particles energy and speed them up, and magnetic fields to contain them in a circle. We can penetrate the atoms and modify their nuclei. We can also smash them against other particles and produce new particles from the collision energy. By concentrating massive amounts of energy in a tiny space, accelerators can recreate the conditions of our universe as they were one billionth of a second after the Big Bang. Of course, particle accelerators are not just used for pure scientific research. The overwhelming majority, more than 95% of the accelerators, they are used for medical applications or by industry. So from in medicine, accelerators are used to produce radioactive isotopes, which can be used for diagnosis of diseases in the human body. Or for cancer therapy. They are treating cancer, that this is very important, and they are at the same time going also the imaging. There is a lot of development, making access consume less energy, more reliable, and making them more compact to be more sustainable and affordable. It's a dream for the long term future to have very tiny accelerators producing focused electron beams at very high energy. A dream that might not be so far away. European research and development efforts such as the ARIES project are hoping to push the frontier of particle accelerator science even further. But there are still many challenges yet to face. Making particle accelerators more powerful, but at the same time smaller, more energy efficient and more reliable is our main challenge. In today's challenge, 41 European universities and laboratories 
We have a joint effort with industry to put together the Airless project. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.